This side needs resanded. Tried to paint it when it was too cold. Inside the bed. Pretty much all needs done. There's the door panel. Got the other one too. Got for the window, windshield. All the pocket holes have been taken off. The truck. All the lights have been put on. Brand new wiring. Fuel cell mounted under the bed. Got a new window in the back. It is filthy and needs cleaned. One piece windows. Electric. Has door poppers. All needs wired up still. Dolphin gauges. Tilt steering out of a 96 Chevy. To the brand new windshield wiper motor. Stay. Stay. Hang on. Okay. So the windshield, it is loose. I have the brand new window sill in it, or er, comes with it. Has brand new door hinges, hood hinges. To the motor, basically all stock 327. Ugly and dirty. Front cross member, blah blah blah. Off of 67 Chevelle with spindles and everything else. So no more straight axle. It's all independent. Have the front bumper, but it looks like crap. Needs re chromed or painted. Also has a one piece window in it. The window is just sitting in there. Because I planned on repainting the door. That's what we discovered underneath it after we bought the truck. 500 holes and 10 pounds of Bondo. So the door skin needs replaced or new door. But it also has the power windows and poppers installed. Shave the glove box. Shave it? It's a brand new seat. But it's sun faded now. now try. Inside of the truck needs sand down. I was gonna take that back line out and you see how far I got. I see it too. Filling in all the little holes and gaps. Bye bye.
The back side, all corner panels, ain't no rot through or nothing. Wheels are pretty much trash, good for rollers. Have the fender off of that bed, and it's sitting right here. Got a little surface rust on it. Nothing bad. Front end is going to sit pretty low to the ground. I have the door handle to it. We got brand new mirrors that go on it. Shaved all the holes for it. We got weather stripping. A little bit of other stuff that'll come with the truck. <laughs> 